Hi everybody, it's me, Bob Anderson of Bob Anderson Art. And I'm here today to begin my fifth, fifth series on how to paint a painting. The first one, I did a landscape. The second in the series was explaining how I did a children's mural. And the third was a still life. And the fourth was an abstract. So now I'm going to begin the fifth. And guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do another landscape. Now I found this picture. Oops, let me put that there safely. I found this great picture and I had it printed. I love it because of the sky and the beautiful mountains are all kind of like a deep fluorescent -y blue. And then you have the all the greenery and the beautiful trees here and the, the sunset just setting right here and the light on the water. And, and, and I just think it looks so beautiful that I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna choose this one for the fifth series, landscape. Okay, so this, now I have a canvas here that I have made that is 24 by 30 inches, 24 inches high by 30 inches wide. Now, uh, this is actually proportionally a little longer, but in this case, I could take this image and reproduce it up to here and down to here. In other words, stretch this out to here and there, and then I could just add more sky up here and add more water down here. That's how I could correct it. But in this case, I think I'm just gonna fudge factor it and I think it's gonna be okay. So I'm just gonna do this image on this slightly different proportion canvas. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is if you look at this painting, you know, if you've seen my other uh, series, the first one I did on landscape, what you do is you start with the background first. So up here, I'm gonna paint from the top half, basically in this light, uh, uh, whited out cerulean blue up here. I'm gonna paint that across the whole top. And then I'll put the clouds on and the sun and everything. And then I'll put the bluish mountains in front of it and I'll move forward. Now the bottom half of this photograph, the image, I'm gonna paint in brown and black because behind the deep dark places at beneath everything on the lower half of this image, it's all brown and black. So I'm gonna take brown, I'm gonna take black, and I'm just gonna mix them together, black, or just put them on at the same time, black and brown and black and brown, and just kind of model it all the way across the bottom half of the, the painting in preparation for putting all this stuff on top. Have you got it? I hope so, okay. So let's begin. I'm going to take a nice brush here, voila. And I have brown and black here side by side. And I'm just gonna start painting it on. Just to base out this lower half of the canvas. And like I said, beneath everything, underneath all the colors and the green and the, it's, it's brown and black, except for the water part. So I'm just gonna base it all out in brown and black, undulating between brown and black. And I'm gonna wrap around the corner. Like I always tell you, I paint in gallery wrap paintings. So I wrap the image around the corner. So I'm gonna wrap that base right around the corner as well. Okay, there you go. So I'm just gonna paint this all across the bottom half to give us that nice base upon which we will paint all of the other things as we come forward. Okay, there we go. And as always, I hope you're all doing well and loving yourselves and loving life because that's the way it should be. There is absolutely no reason why you shouldn't be happy and proud of who you are right here, right today, exactly as you are, flaws and all. Okay, here we go. Just continuing with this, getting a nice brown, black modeled kind of base here.
and I'm gonna fill up the whole bottom part of the canvas. So, there we go. And I'm just gonna carry it right across right across. Ooh, it's moving. Mm. Okay, if that line's a little crooked, I'll straighten it out later. And okay, so that's what we're doing here. Now, for sake of saving time, I am going to move right up this after the video is over i'll just continue filling this in there's no need for you to watch me do that whole thing because i think you got the gist just brown and black modeled together the whole bottom half of the canvas now we're going to move to basing out the sky the background color for the sky and where's my red towel Okay, so now I've got cerulean blue and white. Real simple, because in the painting, which I'm gonna put uh, the image, what I wanna do is I wanna base out the whole upper half in this kind of uh, light cerulean blue right up in here. And then I'll put the clouds and the mountains in front of it. This is just a way to base it all out. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So I'm just going to do it like this. Base out the whole top half in this sky color. Even though it only, even though it only really exists right up in here, I'm going to base out the whole top in it. It's a good, good base. And then, as I said, I can add the clouds and the colors and then the mountains on top because we're starting at the very back and moving forward because everything in the foreground is actually on top of the background. So that's why we always move. We paint the back stuff first and then we come forward and all the things in the foreground are actually on top of what's in back. That's why we do that. Okay, so just continuing on, putting a nice thick coat of this cerulean blue with white added to it to lighten it up. So I think you've got the gist of this. So now I'm gonna uh, stop the video and I'm gonna finish doing this all in this color and doing the whole bottom half in that color. And I'll see you in the next video. Oh my God, we're rolling again. Okay, I'll see you later.